So last night I did a accidental class of using live and I, I had glued this stuff. I want to show you how um, I'm going to tidy it up this morning. And this is a little hedgehog, upside down hedgehog that I'm going to be glass fusing. And these are all sorts of pieces of vitrograph that I had pulled that uh, Morton smashed apart with a hammer for me last night. So this is going to be fused to be part of a big window that I'm making. It's going to have two, at least two fused glass pieces. But I wanted to show you how, I, how I'm doing this part. So uh, this is an eraser from a pencil. And... This morning, all of my little, um, all my glass is secured with the glue. So I'm just taking and I'm pushing this up here. Now you can use a, a paintbrush for this too, but I found that the paintbrush, sometimes the glass will get caught in the paintbrush. So we're just using this. So I'm just taking it and some of this might be a little, it might be a little hard to get off. So I can just kind of take and er erase all this powder just to get it over there. That's what we want. I just don't want all these little stray, all these little stray dots. See, this part is kind of stuck with glue. And this is why I like to use a pencil to do this. It works great. You can really get in there, <laughs> get in there and be precise with it. I'll just work all over the piece till I feel like they're all, they're all there. They're all away from my branch. And then this is going to go in for a tack fusing. And if one or two stay, it is okay. It's not the end of the world. But I like to get it all tidied up and it is a process. Just take a minute, give it a bit of time. And where it's there under that petal, I kind of like that because that's going to look like a um, little shadow. So this is our little, this is going to be our cherry blossom window for spring here in the studio. That little piece is super random and over there. See how nice the little eraser works, though? I find it's more precise than using a paintbrush, and it's more robust, like this little piece here that's stuck on here. I can just sort of poke at it with my point and then get it back to where I want it. It's a process. Then what I could do is spray it with um, hairspray. I'm not going to do that, uh, but some people do that. There's and there's a million ways to do this. This is the method I prefer. Think of it as like remember Wooly Willy <laughs> when we were kids. Think of it as a big old Wooly Willy. that we played. I thought it was so high tech. I thought that was magical. I wonder what would happen if you gave kids today that to play with. I wonder if they'd enjoy it. And I have this setting on a on a box that I can just sort of turn I can turn my board around. <laughs> So I'm working towards me. Um, it's way easier than reaching out across your piece. Put it on something to turn. And these, the big areas are really what I want to clean up. So I prefer a pencil to do this. You might do something else. I'd like to hear what you do. If you do this, put it in the comments. Have you ever done glass fusing? Something you're interested in? This is gonna go, I don't know if I said it or not already, but this is gonna go in the kiln for a tack fuse. And I really, I really wanna get it as clean as possible. 
And again, it's a little time consuming, but it's worth it for the end result. Get all those little black dots over there. And I have some brown paint here, under here as well, that's gonna look really pretty. Hopefully it's gonna look like a branch. Hopefully it's gonna be really effective. And the beautiful thing with glass fusing, if it's not, if by chance I don't absolutely love this, I can do it again. So once I have all these little bits and bobs cleaned up, I'm gonna put some more pink on here. This is just a little random piece I wanna lay down. It'll just give it a little wispy, wispy feel. And I'm ha I am happy with that. I do have some little bits and pieces here and there, but that's totally fine. <laughs> I'll tidy it up too once I put it in the kiln. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go again with, um, I'm holding you in one hand. I'm super sorry, I don't have you on a stand, but I wanna be able to get you to where the action is. I wanna be able to get to there. So I'm just taking regular glue now, and uh, I'm ambidextrous, but I'm gonna use my right hand for this because I'm gonna be watching through here. So I'm gonna just puff out the air here, let the glue come to the end and then run it over this. I just want to run it over that. I want that powder that I put there to stay. Nice sharp little line. Till we get to the kiln. And then I can come back in on here and sweep one more time. And because there's wet glue down, all of those little, all of my little um, powder flakes will stay right where they need to stay. These are gonna fuse into beautiful little branches, cherry blossom branches. I love glass fusing. We're doing it live tonight, Friday the 13th. We're doing it at 6 p.m. Live, live, live. I did I did this last night because I thought last night was Friday the 13th. Well, I just thought it was Friday. Oh, actually, I think my... I When I set the event up, I think it just made a mistake. Okay, so these... These uh, cherry blossom petals... I have put some little things. You're not going to see these. These are going to be like 12 feet off the ground. So I'm not putting in as many details as I normally would. But I want to put in some more pink because I want it to be <laughs> super pink. And I have some more pink over here. I'm just going to find some spaces that I think I want to put more pink at. Cherry blossoms are all over. They don't just bloom in one spot. They're clusters. So everywhere on the ends, I do want to put more cherry blossoms. Morton's fixing the stove. That's what that noise is. Okay, so here I have some little pieces that I had cut last night. These pieces here I'm fusing down. I'm gonna use them on another section of this window, as is the hedgehog. He's, he's being used in another window. But these little pieces here, I'm gonna take and just put some down randomly. They're not, they're not whole cherry blossoms. These are the buds. Put some little buds there stood that one up on its side because they'll fuse differently. They'll get different shapes. Um, I like to put the small part of the triangle down. It will pull into a little bud shape pretty. 
and that one I might stand up on its side. Touch a dab of glue on it. Actually, I'm going to lay it down. But I want lots more pink on here. And this is the one color pink that I used. Before, I, before this goes in the kiln, this is going to get um, another shade of pink on here too. Then I have it fusing on the iridescent. You will definitely be able to see its cherry blossoms. That's what we're going for. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Have I missed any? Probably. So now I have another color back here. I have another shade of pink. This shade, wait, is that my shade I used? That is my shade I used. No, that was my shade I used. So this piece is a bit more opaque, but there is light coming through it. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of that, but I think I might actually have it. I, I might actually have some of that on a small piece. Smaller piece. Nope, that's the same as this. So I need to cut a piece of that. So I will cut that, put it in there, and then fuse it all up, and we'll see what we have. This will go into the kiln for a tack fuse, and uh, will be part of a window. <laughs> 